for the questions below write less than or greater than. So here we need to compare numbers. First, we have 35 and 350. So we need to see which is larger, which is smaller. Now, when we're comparing numbers, if a number is a whole number and it has more digits, it will always be larger than a number with fewer digits. So 350 is a three digit number and 35 is only a two digit number. So because 350 has three hundreds and 35 doesn't have any hundreds, we know that 35 must be less than 350. So we need the symbol for less than. The way to remember this symbol is that we can imagine this is a kind of point and it always points to the smaller number. Another way of thinking about this symbol is to imagine it's like the mouth of a crocodile or an alligator and the crocodile snaps at the larger number. So its mouth points towards the number that's larger. Now we have 492 and 509. Now when we're comparing numbers, we always start by comparing the larger place values. Remember, ones are smallest, then tens, then hundreds. So because both of our numbers are three digit numbers, they have the same number of digits, we need to look at the hundreds digit first. Now this number has four in the hundreds, but this number has five. So 492 must be less than 509 because it has fewer hundreds. Now it doesn't matter that this number has nine tens and this number doesn't have any because tens are smaller than hundreds. We need 10 tens just to make one more hundred. So when we're comparing numbers, we need to start by comparing the larger place values first. Now we have 472 and 427. So both of our numbers have four as the hundreds digit. So what we need to do now is to move along and compare the next digit along. So compare our tens digits. Here we have seven tens, but here we only have two. So that means that 472 must be greater than 427. So we need a greater than symbol. Finally, let's compare 479 and 474. Here, both numbers have four as the hundreds digit and seven as the tens digit. So we need to move all the way along and compare our ones digits. Here, we have nine ones, but in this number, we only have four. So that means 479 is greater than 474. So now what we can do is show base 10 blocks for the numbers that we were comparing. 350 means that we have three hundreds, but with 35, we don't have any hundreds. So we know that 350 is larger. Now with 35, we have three tens and five ones, and for 50, we can show five tens, but the tens and ones don't really matter because tens and ones, it doesn't matter how many you have of each, it will always be less than just 100. Then we had 492, so that has four hundreds, and 509, which has five hundreds. So because 509 has more hundreds, we know that it's larger. 492 is less than 509. Now it doesn't matter that with 492, we have nine tens and two ones, and with 509, we don't have any tens and just have nine ones, because even all of these tens and ones together add up to less than just one of these hundred blocks. 
Then we had 472 and 427. So with both numbers, we have the same number of hundreds. But with 472, we have seven tens, and with 427, we only have two tens. So we know that 472 must be larger, even though it only has two ones, but this number has seven. Then we had 479 and 474. Now both numbers have four hundreds and they both have seven tens. But because our first number has nine ones and this number only has four, we know that 479 is greater than 474. So we've been using base 10 blocks but we could also use place value counters to compare numbers. So 35 is less than 350, because with 35 we have three tens and five ones, but with 350 we have three hundreds and five tens. Now remember, we need 10 ones just to make one ten, and we need 10 tens just to make 100. Then we had 492, so that's four hundreds, nine tenths, and two ones, and 492 is less than 509, so that's five hundreds, no tens, and nine ones. Now it doesn't matter that 492 has nine tenths, and 509 doesn't have any, because remember, we need 10 tens just to make something that's the same value as 100. So, because 509 has more hundreds, we know that it must be larger. Then, we had 472, so that's 400s, 7 tens, and 2 ones, and we were comparing that to 427, so 400s, 2 tens, and 7 ones. Now, because both numbers have the same number of hundreds, we compared the tens. Because our first number has more tens, we knew that it must be greater. Now, it doesn't matter that the second number has seven ones, because remember, we need ten ones just to make one ten. Then, we had 479, so that's four hundreds, seven tens, and nine ones and we found that that was greater than 474, so 400s, 7 tens, and 4 ones. Both numbers have 400s and 7 tens, but because our first number has more ones, we know that it must be greater.